And I have Polona again in my studio, this time for a night out makeup. So we caking it up shit loads. <laughs> and because she has dehydrated skin, but oily, I still need to moisturize it. I'll moisturize it a lot. This is a lot of cream because I'll put a very dry foundation over. So in order for it to not look cakey, I need to moisturize the skin. Because Polona has dehydrated skin, this area is very red, look up. Therefore, I'm applying Yves Saint Laurent's color corrector in green. But this needs to be a very thin layer, like seriously guys, this needs to be thin. Don't be fools, don't follow makeup rules. I'm back in my country because we have a masquerade here. We're scaring winter away. We don't want winter, we want spring. That's why, yeah? Summer. Yeah, summer, spring, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I make her smile, look how, do you see it creases here? It breaks the line, <laughs> close it. Therefore, look, I'm first applying a black pencil. This is Le Crayon Curl mm. Noir Lancome. Looking and nice. Wee, wee, wee. And then look, I go over with the brown pencil by Lancome again, just to make it really soft here, triangle as we do always. If you want to look all crazy, you can leave this on, but otherwise I usually blend it. But we want to look crazy. <laughs> Mask right, yeah. Not look like we are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Brown's eyeshadow. White eyeshadow all over the eyelid in a triangular motion, especially here in the dot, because I want to make eyes brighter. They won't look heavy because they're hooded. And then I go totally under her eyebrow because I lift it like this. This time I'll put mascara just on top eyelashes because of a trick I'll show you later. We'll flick these eyes really nicely. Imagine this, I was flying home, needed to bring all these freaking lights with me. I paid so much for the travel, like never before, I could go to the United States with this money. And then when I prepared all this photo shoot, I got three spots on my forehead. And it always happens to me whenever I wanna, opala, <laughs> whenever I wanna record cool videos, I always get spots on my face. But this time I'm actually really happy because if you see these spots well, it means that my lights are awesome. Now look at this million dollar secret. I put it here as her eye goes, do you see? The same, I'll place it on and I just pull the cotton pad with a cleanser. Cleanser, I can't talk English today, it took too long in my country. Cleanser. cleanser. Polona is a crazy party girl. I remember her when I was little, you know? <laughs> Liar. So we're caking it up. Look at that. A lot of Tinted All Ultra in number 005 by Lancome. This is a very heavy foundation, very drying. It can also break you out, so don't wear it too long. On dehydrated skin, I like to tap the foundation over. That's my beauty blender but real techniques i think it's real techniques doesn't matter what you use but just tap it on because that's how you make a very thin layer you take a bit of a foundation off and make a really even airbrushed look i love these color correctors by yves saint laurent this is the lavender shade because i want to highlight it especially here she has Slightly dehydrated skin, so if I would put, you know, something <laughs> sparkly here, it would no. be bad. No, I, I feel so bad, you know, because sometimes you need to explain something and... Like it, hundred it, times. Yeah, it sounds so rude. <laughs> yeah. Again and again and again. And maybe. <laughs> this could be a heart-shaped face or also a round face, you know, but for me it's more heart-shaped because she has really nicely structured cheekbones. So I'll give her a definition here. You don't see me using this color often, but it's a bit more warm 
undertone of her skin because I still want to give her warmth but look here I don't go totally where her and you know this color of cheek is whole here I go slightly slightly up it's basically a bit like contouring a diamond shaped face so I put it slightly more up here and drag it towards her mouth because this is how I'll prolongate her face but I want to push these bones a bit more in so I balance it because it's a night out makeup I can really play I don't do drag queen eyebrows but still this is quite dark because I'm using Yves Saint Laurent's number 5 pencil and this is the only way that I can really restructure an eyebrow pull it up on the upper part here and then in the point just where the eye ends the whole makeup will have quite a warm tone therefore I want to cool it down because it's a night out makeup I want to make it glamorous therefore I am using number 9 kiss and blush by Yves Saint Laurent on this cheekbone here just this part that sticks a bit out that it will bounce light and give her color to the face Polona has gorgeous lips you see very full very nice so I'll concentrate on the lips and because this edge here is not very angled I can do whatever I like and because she's bubbly she's very talkative yeah <laughs> I'll do these peaks pointed because the more pointed these peaks here will be like this the more bubbly you look the lipstick number one this is Kanibo and has liquid gold in it which means that it won't oxidize it won't change color but it's slightly more blue so it's a colder undertone which will make Polona sophisticated more feminine plus her eyes will pop now the lipstick matches the eyes and her teeth will look whiter because it's an optical illusion I don't see many people doing this but blotting the lips is really cool like this makes a big big difference okay guys to be honest I love doing night out makeup this is MAC A55 look how I'm pulling her eyelid up you see up 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 that the eyelashes go totally under her eyelid and pull them up this is just the outer corner the best for hooded eyelids Dehydrated skin is really really hard to hydrate. I have dehydrated and oily skin That's why I break out. That's why I have these three crazy spots on my forehead and uh, You can do it only by drinking a lot of water by living a really healthy life and also You need to spend quite some money to maintain it but when you go for a night out like this, you can hydrate it with applying a lot of moisturizer that is not so oily, so it won't slide the makeup off. And then put some dry makeup over, which is actually a paradox. Because if you put dry makeup on dehydrated skin, obviously everything looks bad. But if you hydrate it really well before, then the makeup can look quite cool. Hope you like my new lights because I really think that uh, they show the texture of the skin. Subscribe to my newsletter because you can win an online consultation with me and, um, you know, have fun. Like the video, share, tra-la-la, hop-sa-sa -sa, and uh, have fun. Ciao.